in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste.
Doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I- Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. Hmm, crummy table and wobbly chairs. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh, oh God, that's, what's that smell? What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. What 
to do with this. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would... What's up? Should I throw these pictures out? I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Oh, man. 
man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile, like Alice. Like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. Steady now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Steady now. Take your time. He's not going to jump up and do the cha cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair? Yes! Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look.
Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. You go here. All right. I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. Yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will get us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison, wait, it felt way too real. It was- Us, pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great, hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown who said you were Starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you.
Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Did she ask you to? Oh, <laughs> no. Not really. I mean, she talked about scraping together money to hire somebody, but I couldn't let her do that. Anyways, uh, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be. Let's try this one. Take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw... And Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Maybe. Preta rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes.
Why is there wolf pee in our barn? What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more. I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. 
Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory is a tricky thing, huh? before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina, I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec, I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. 
I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Now, you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt? Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Well, we were freaks. But that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best.
Hey, look what I found. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh... I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah, okay, act normal. You heading now? Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. 
Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops like trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Oh, whoops. Tyler. Is us in here. Huh. Hey, you. Oh, huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Seriously? You're gonna try to- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't- I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then. How am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da di do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. 
What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look at him. Nope. <sighs> Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Here we go. like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. Hmm. References 05R61889. summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Five two zero one five four six. No, that's not it. Nope. Well, two thousand five two zero one five four six. Not this one either. No, that's not it. You finding anything? Nope. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well... Okay, here it is. Okay, okay. Here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting? And that she had a shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but... She said she'd already paid for them. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Tell him I'm using the bathroom. Tessa's name came up. Search for her.
References 0501COMBR. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. Huh. You wanna talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plain supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. A snake? Pretending to care? To be her friend? Just to stab her in the back when she was down? Tessa helped out your family for years. I'm convinced her concern was real. Of course you would. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. What? It's bullshit! He didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but 
You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up when I see a big old boat was staring me down. So what do I do? I grab my odd six from the- Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh, we keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Come in! 
What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Ah, uh, yep. Yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec.
All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh, yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Is that the mangy muskrat? Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker, I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. So, uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool.
Oh, right in the face. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Boom. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. God, you're corny. So, is this a typical workday for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool, no harm, no foul then. Boom. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. Well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. No way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. All right, you know what's up. You listened to his earlier stuff, The Dark Arc of Destiny? <laughs> Not yet. It might be a bit Experimental for me, though. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. One of the songs is like nine minutes of the same MJG drum machine sample. Fucking brilliant. But not for everyone. And I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? 
I was born first, you know. Is that so? The Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be, especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm, fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. My mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always
always come here. Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible, Mike? No dice. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time. Quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. She is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Still here? Well, we did cover it in like a hundred layers of blue.
This spot's familiar. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her dad had kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Ty. This, this is it. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? pass on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids.
typical. Running away when things get tough. I don't buy that Marianne pushed you away. You turned your back on her. And now you're making excuses. Like always, you destroyed our family. You don't even have the decency to admit it. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? You went through a very challenging time and anyone could come out on the other side confused. There's help available out there if you'll take it. Keep your help. So that's it then. We're done because I believe something different than you? No, it's because you don't believe in me. I see. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. You two really are her children. Hey, I know that was hard, but you did the right thing. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Well, if you feel like saying I told you so, now's the time. Everyone in our lives back then, none of them really gave a shit about us. Sorry, I, d I didn't mean... It's okay. I mean, we had to force the truth out of Eddie, too. But at least he took care of us. I get now why you're so pumped to go to Juno. You know, a part of me really thought I'd come here and everything would be exactly the same. Ignorance is bliss, right? You can say that again. You want to sit down for a bit? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No, we never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. When she heard social services was coming, she 
She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Right? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? We know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. Person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? It's three digits. Any ideas? Mm, 
Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. That did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Fuck. That's rough. This... this guy who tried to push Mary Ann to get... that's everything. What the hell? So... Mary Ann hid a box under the barn. Box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I tripped. Someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Was there someone over there? No, that, that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah. Unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. After what I did for you? You're really gonna say no to this? Well, no, but I just can't keep doing this. Every time we think we understand, something new pops up. This might be our only shot to figure out who our father is. Who gives a shit about that asshole? I have a father. 
and I almost lost him because you won't stop. Don't blame me because Chief Brown fucked Marianne over. We need to know the truth. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How, how can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, right? Don't think about anything else. I'll try. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison?